For me, the thrill is never gone, especially when I get to play with someone like Lindsey Buckingham. You know, there are certain things that keep coming up again and again. Like, what is this sex thing with guitar players? I ran into Don Felder, and we had a band. He was in our band. And he was the lead guitar player. So he did not have to come to practice, and he showed up at the last minute for all the gigs, played his part, walked off with the neatest looking chick in the place, and that was it. That is when I noticed it the first time. Plus, Elvis got all these chicks by playing the guitar, so you know that was real important. You know, a big impression. You know, we well, can see that on MTV today. You know, only chicks look a lot better. Well, out of all the instruments, you're gonna get laid more playing the guitar than you are the piano. You know what I mean? I never had that problem uh, <laughs> with girls. I never had that problem like Elvis of having to beat the girls off with a stick. Uh, must be nice. <laughs> Another thing that's curious is during the 1950s, there was a movement in this country to ban the electric guitar. What, are you kidding me? That, that's incredible to hear. I guess they associated that with, like, the devil and all things bad, you know? Like, uh, like the uh, right-wing groups now are trying to ban all sorts of rap music and stuff coming from the street. At that time, rock and roll really was a street music, you know? It was rebellious music, you know? You know, rock and roll scared a lot of people in the 50s. Uh, I'm sure the powers that be dealt with as much as, uh, as they could, dealt with as much as they could, as well as they could, you know, putting Elvis in the army. That was a good symbolic gesture.